Hi, my name is Kara Alfano and I'm a voice teacher here on Lesson Face. In today's video, I'm going to take you through five vocal exercises that will help you learn how to navigate the vocal break. So what do I mean by the vocal break? It's that place in your voice when you're using your belt or your chest register or heavy register and you're taking that part of your voice up so high in pitch that it feels as if you could not sing any higher without your voice feeling as if it's going to break meaning that it will just stop phonating or you're going to have to flip your voice up into this higher headier, lighter vocal register. Now, if you still don't know what I mean by the vocal break, well, I'd like to sing you a couple of contrasting examples. I'm going to use the first few opening lines of Amazing Grace to do so. Now, in the first example, I'm going to be using that chest register or what is sometimes called the belt for the entire exercise. And what I want you to be listening for are the highest pitches in this exercise and I want you to note what is happening in my neck and my jaw and even in my tongue. So here I go with example number one of Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost. And now, here is example number two of Amazing Grace. When I get to some of those higher pitches, I'm going to actually let my voice flip up into a little bit of a higher, headier register but you're gonna notice that there's not that big of a vocal tone color change when I switch up to that lighter register. And the reason why is because I've taken so much time over the years to work on my voice and to work on that, um, navigating that vocal break so that it becomes seamless when I switch from the lower part of my voice to the upper part of my voice. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. notice when you heard me sing some of those upper notes, it sounded as if I could have sung higher if I needed to. And you should have noticed that you didn't see nearly as much tension in my neck and my jaw and in my tongue. So now let me take you through those five vocal exercises that are going to help you learn how to navigate that vocal break through the strengthening of the higher part of your voice. Exercise number one, vocal sirens. I'm going to demonstrate four voice sirens for you. Each one's gonna be getting a little higher. Now, the great thing about sirens is that we're not aiming for any particular pitches, but rather we're just letting our voice explore a variety of pitches through a sort of a slide. So let me demonstrate for you. Ooh. There was number one. Now, here's number two. Ooh. Note how I went a little higher on that one. Now, here's number three, where I go higher yet. Ooh. And number four. Ooh. Now, of course, I encourage you to go even higher if it feels comfortable to do so. Vocal exercise number two, lip trills. So I'm gonna use a lip trill, which, which looks like this and apply it to a vocal exercise where I'm sliding down an octave. So it's gonna sound like this. So it's taking me from the higher, headier part of my range down into the lower, chestier, beltier part of my range. So let's do a couple of these together.
Vocal exercise number three. Sliding down an octave, except now instead of using lip trills, we're gonna do it on an ooh, just like this. Ooh. Now notice you could hear where my voice wanted to flip down into the lower part of my vocal range going into that chest register. So when you are exploring with this exercise at home and you get to that place where you feel like there's going to be that little vocal flip or switch going on in your vocal cords and in your larynx right here, slow down the pace of the slide so you can really allow yourself to sing through all the pitches through that slide. So let's try a few together here. Vocal exercise number four. I'm calling it the yo-yo exercise. And here we're actually gonna start on a lower pitch and go to a higher pitch. We're gonna go up and down between the interval of a fifth and the exercise sounds like this. Yo, yo, yo. As we're starting to get higher on the higher pitch of that exercise we're going to let the voice flip up into that higher headier part of our voice so it will sound something like this yo, yo, yo. example number five. I'm calling it the Uma exercise. And on this exercise, we're going to descend on a five note scale. And as we get to the Ma part of the exercise, we're going to use the M to let that take us down through that transition from that higher, headier part of the voice down into that chest belty part of the voice. So let's try it together. To learn more about how to navigate your vocal break, head on over to Lesson Face. There are a number of teachers there, including myself, who would love to help you achieve your vocal goals. My name is Kara Alfano, a voice teacher for Lesson Face, and I wish you all healthy singing. Yeah.